Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Liam Moore and I'm from the Munster Technological University. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to look at Industry 4.0 and describe what that entails. We'll also look at the various um, evolutions of industry going from 1.0 all the way up to 4.0 and give a little bit of background information around that. Um, what we hope by today, end of today's uh, video is that you will have a better understanding of what Industry 4.0 is referring to and have some background knowledge about what Industry 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 all entailed. So, Industry 1.0 to 4.0. At the start of it all, around late 18th century to mid 19th century, we had Industry 1.0, also known as the first industrial revolution, characterized by the introduction of mechanization and steam power and new manufacturing processes. By the late 18th to early 19th century, we had Industry 2.0, which was also known as the Second Industrial Revolution and was characterized by the introduction of mass production and assembly lines. Industry 3.0 came along around the middle of the last century <coughs> and was characterized with the mass automation of industrial processes. And now, mid, uh, around 2010 on, or even a little earlier, we have Industry 4.0, which is our current industrial revolution, which has a strong focus on the Internet of Things and digitization of manufacturing processes. So looking back again to Industry 1.0, again known as the first industrial revolution, this was a period of significant social and economic change that occurred in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. And the primary driver, drivers of this revolution were improvements in the textile industry. Uh, there was a significant shift from manual to machine-based labor, including the invention of the spinning jenny and power loom, which dramatically increased the efficiency and productivity of textile production. On top of that, you had the introduction of the steam train, allowing new forms of transportation of goods and materials, and also allowing the um, creation of new industries that previously hadn't um, existed. This would be including the railroad, railroads, the steamships and factories. You also had advances in iron production, which was fueling or creating the materials to fuel this expansion of industry um, outwards. Then moving on to Industry 2.0, which occurred from about 1870 to 1914, just before uh, World War I. You had the first corporation established. It was around this time Henry Ford set up the Ford Motor Company and started mass producing um, cars that uh, in a scale that hadn't been seen before. This was enabled by the new ways of working, including the introduction of assembly lines and mass production, producing large amounts of goods that were identical to each other in a very efficient and process heavy way. You also had the internal combustion engine and electrification coming in around this time, which was allowing for more advances in technology, more advances in manufacturing that previously didn't exist. Um, and the newer corporate corporations were also beginning to emerge at this time, such as the Ford Motor Company, Coca-Cola, uh, even Nintendo existed back um, in these days. And they were all there to, uh, these all were successful companies due to the ability of introducing new management styles um, and new ways of engaging with the workforce to increase efficiency. After that, you had Industry 3.0, and this was from 1950 to 1980. In this characterized by a massive ta take up in robotics and in automation. The internet started emerging at this time as well, so computerization started impacting into the automation environment or into the uh, processing environment as well. And this all, this all led to an automation taking hold sort of thing. So around 1950, 1970, you saw the introduction of the first PLCs. You saw the introduction of a serious, um, any process that could be done repetitively. How could you automate that process uh, in a way to make it more efficient um, and so on. And that brings us into Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution, which is referring to this current period that we exist in right now. And it's a period of rapid rapid technological advancement and digital transformation in manufacturing and other industries. It is characterized by the integration of digital technologies such as the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence. There's mass sensorization of industry going on at the moment, trying to get as much data from your manufacturing processes as possible and try and use this data to 
drive the way in terms of efficiency gains and improvements. And there's also a drive for mass connectivity of all manufacturing assets. As mentioned, machine learning and artificial intelligence, they're being brought in. It's a new type of automation where you're using advanced algorithms and advanced learning techniques to be able to make smart, almost human-based decisions on this data that you're producing, again, to be further automated and further improve the efficiency of your manufacturing processes. One of the key goals of industry 4.8 is to improve this efficiency, is to reduce this waste and increase flexibility in manufacturing processes. And this is also done with an eye on to make these processes or manufacturing plants more green and to be more climate change ready um, as that, I suppose, climate crisis takes hold. All these new technologies are geared up to make them keep their efficiencies, but also make them uh, leaner and greener in the way they do business. What Industry 4.0 is going to enable is greater customization and personalization of products, as well as the ability to produce small batches of goods on demand. So batches of one, batches of 10, uh, customized batches where appropriate. And we're going to achieve this through the use of advanced design and simulation tools on top of all the IoT, artificial intelligence and machine learning. And there's going to be mass integration of all our systems from the manufacturing line into our supply chain and logistics systems to further increase this efficiencies. Industry 4.0 is going to re represent a major transformation in the way manufacturing and other industries operate and will hopefully significantly improve productivity, efficiency and innovation. And it is this Industry 4.0 that we're trying to get the current technicians and engineers ready for, that they have the skill set uh, and capabilities to be able to become productive members of this emerging industrial revolution. Now, people are already beginning to talk about Industry 5.0, uh, and this is a proposed concept that builds upon the foundations of Industry 4.0 and focuses on the integration, not just of technology, but human skills and capabilities with these advanced digital technologies. Industry 4.0 is emphasizing the use of automation and robotics. Industry 5.0 is going to try and bring that human creativity and problem, skilling, problem solving skills back into the production process. They feel over the last few industrial revolutions that something has been lost from the human creativity, human centric approach, and they want to bring that in. And some of the key aspects that overlap between 4.0 and 5.0 is going to be the use of digital technologies such as augmented reality and virtual reality to enhance human capabilities and allow for more interactive and immersive experiences in the production process. And this will all again be underpinned by more machine learning, advanced data analytics and artificial intelligence. So thank you for listening to that on the introduction of Industry 4.0. Um, in upcoming lessons, we'll talk about what that means in terms of remote data monitoring, what digital technologies we need to become familiar with, what skills we need to enable. And we will underpin this with um, at-home exercises you can do, assessments and lab-based demos that we can show you. This project has been brought to us uh, through a Erasmus Plus funding. Um, and please check out our partners' um, complimentary courses um, that also are up on the iMux platform.